In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about regression. In the end, we come up with equations and numbers and formulas, and it looks nasty. Anyway, I will walk you through it and hopefully make it as simple as possible. I'm going to start with the independent variable, which is the x-axis. And I'm making these numbers up, but I'll plot them out. And also the dependent variable, which is the y-axis, and I'll plot numbers there as well. I'm just going to label the y-axis. So I'll put in uh, points for these observation, and this observation here is the first one, which is 1, and y is equal to 2, where x is equal to 1 and y is 2. Let me drop in the second observation, and it's located at point two, four, and I'll just put in all the other observations in now. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take the mean of the x values. I'm going to kind of highlight what we're going to do and then do it. So we're taking the mean of the x values, which is three, and then I'm going to take the mean or the average of the y values or the dependent variable, which is four, and let me draw that line in. It turns out that all regression lines have to go through that point there. That's where the mean of the independent variable and the mean of the dependent variable cross. To do this, I'm going to take the distance from the x value to the mean for all observations. And I'll do the same thing um, for the y's. I will take the distance each observation is from the y mean. So let me go ahead and start doing this now. I'll draw back in the 3, the mean of 3. So I'm going to take the x value minus the mean at each point. So the first point is 1 minus 3, which is the mean. And this is equal to negative 2. The next point is 2 minus 3, the mean of 3, which is negative 1. The next observation happens to be right on the mean, so it's 3 minus 3, which is 0. Now I have 4 minus 3, which is 1. And finally, 5 minus 3, which is 2. Now I do the same thing with the y values. I'll draw in the mean line again, which is mean of 4. It's a straight horizontal line right there. And the first point is 2 minus 4. 2 is the observation minus the mean of 4. Again, that 4 is just the mean value. And that equals negative 2. And now I'm going to do the next value, which is right on the mean. So it's 4 minus 4, which is 0. And now I have 5 minus 4, which is 1. 4 minus 4, which is 0 again. And finally, 5 minus 4, which is 1. So we're about 90% there. And now I'm going to make some additional calculations. And our goal is to get the equation, this equation here, y hat is equal to b naught plus b1 times x. And right now, I'm going to determine what b1 is. So we take this column, x minus x bar, and we square it. We take all these values and we square them all. Negative 2 squared is 4. Negative 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, and 2 squared is 4. Now I take it and I make another column. And it's the x minus the mean and y minus the mean columns. We're going to take this column times this column. Which is the first row is negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4. The next value is negative 1 times 0, which is 0. 
Now I have 0 times 1, which is 0. 1 times 0 is 0, and 2 times 1 is 2. And let me straighten this all up and make it get that all even there. Now I'm going to draw on the regression line, and what I'm trying to determine is the slope of this line, or B1. And to determine this, I take the sum, I add up, determine B1, I add up this column here, which adds up to 10. And that's my denominator. And I add up this column, which is my numerator, and this adds up to 6. So this is equal to 0.6. So B1 is equal to 0.6, which is the slope. So what I do is I take the difference between the x values and the mean of the x's and the y's and the mean of the y's, that column right here, and I divide that by the difference between the x values and the mean squared. It's the sum of all these, actually, the sum of those columns. And that would be the typical formula you'd see in your textbooks. And that's B1. Now I'm going to try to find B0, which is the y-intercept. It's that point right there. Which now this is really simple. Really, trust me on this. It's simple. The regression line has to cross point 3, 4. So the y value is 4. And this is equal to B0 plus B1, which we just calculated, which is point 0.6. times x, which is 3, it has to be 3. We know it crosses that point, 3. And now we solve for b naught. Let me move that down right there. So anyway, we're almost done. We're getting there. Hang in there. So we take 4 is equal to b naught plus 0.6 times 3, which is 1.8. Now I solve for B0, so I subtract 1.8 from both sides of the equation. And this gives me 2.2 on the left-hand side, and this is equal to B0. And that 2.2 is the y-intercept, which is also the value for B0. Of course, those two cross out to finish that up. So now I got it. B0 is equal to 2.2. B1 is equal to 0.6, which is also the slope. And so y hat is equal to 2.2 plus 0.6 times x. And there we have it. Hopefully that wasn't too bad. Up next, I'm going to talk about r squared. So with r squared, we look at distances again. And what we're going to do is determine the distance between the regression line estimated values and the actual values. And hopefully I can walk you through it easily, slowly, and I will see you in the next video.